Thanks for coming over today. <laughs> I haven't seen you in what? Like two days? That's a long time for us. I feel like you practically live here. With how much you're always helping me out. Always carrying my bags. Helping me around the house. I mean, I don't think I've ever actually done the yard work here. It's always you doing it. You know, you really are my best friend, aren't you? You do everything for me. You just can't say no to me. You love making me happy. Now, to address the elephant in the room. I do know it's because you've always wanted to be with me. Not just as friends. You've always had this raging crush. <laughs> but I'm so glad you've never gotten bitter over it. You know? Other people might. But you've dedicated yourself to always helping me. <laughs> I mean, think of all the times you've sat with me while I did my hair and makeup for a date, helped me pick out outfits. And I see the way you look at me with adoration in your gaze. You do wish that it was yourself going on the date with me. But you've never begrudged me for friend zoning you. You do understand that the bestie role, the honorary friend zone is the most you'd ever get with me. I mean, you and I just aren't mm, compatible romantically. But I don't need to tell you that. You understand. It's why you do these nice things for me. You've never missed a morning bringing me a coffee just because you're nice. Even when you have an early morning at work, I can count on you to drop off a coffee and an acai bowl just so you know I am taken care of. Just so I start my morning off right. <laughs> you really are one of the sweetest guys I know. You know, a less emotionally evolved man would claim I was using him. <laughs> but you would never do that. You love being in my company so much. You even went out and bought me that new perfume I wanted as soon as it dropped. And I know that it was heinously expensive. I mean, that price tag was egregious, you know, just terrible. I wouldn't have wanted to spend that much on a perfume, even if it is really gorgeous. But you did. Even though it's not even my birthday. You and I really are besties. You even brought lunch today. How sweet. Anyways, how was your day? What have you been up to? Oh? Oh? Right over by Regal? Oh, that's, um, unexpected. What were you wearing? This? This outfit here? And she just approached you? Uh-huh. Asking for directions? Huh. Sounds like she was just trying to come up 
with something to say, like manufacture a conversation. Are you sure she doesn't have ill intentions? It's just that that seems so trite, so predictable to walk up to a stranger and ask for directions. Like I doubt she was really lost. She just wanted to talk to you. Oh, and she asked you out? No offense, but you? Like on a date? And she asked you, this wasn't like some hot girl you were stalking at the grocery store. Oh, she approached you and she asked. Oh. Ew. Was she pretty? Yeah, well, I mean, whatever. What did you say? You said yes. Really? Even though you and I are hanging out like five days this week, when could you ever fit her in? Tomorrow night. Oh, I thought you were going to give me a ride to that concert tomorrow. I mean, I could Uber. It's not like you have to do it. It's not like I depend on you to do it. Hmm. So you're really just gonna bail on me? Your bestie? To go on a date with this girl you don't even know? I mean, she's like a literal stranger. How do you know she doesn't have ulterior motives? Like ill intentions, especially because she approached you. Like that's not normal. Do you think she's trying to use you? I bet she saw your car and she thinks you have money. She doesn't realize that your dad gave you that. I don't know. The whole thing just sounds kind of hinky. I don't trust it. Like, I'm not saying she's evil or bad or anything, but... I, I just don't have a good feeling about it. I don't think you should go. Mm-mm. No, I think you should cancel on her, you know? Just let her off easy. Or better yet, just ghost her because she probably does have ill intentions with you. So just block her number. Let's not talk to her anymore. Are you serious? You're really going to go out with her, honestly. Well, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed in that decision. I thought you respected my opinion and judgment more than that. Uh, you know, I'm kind of put off by that. Kind of gives me the ick, you know? I get that it was flattering and a good boost to the ego that she asked you out, but you're kind of stupid to actually agree to go. To prioritize her over me. You and I have been tight for so long. Through thick and thin, you're always there to support me, to pay for me, to give me everything I want and run every task and errand I ask of you. And now you're just going to ditch me for this literal stranger? No, she's clearly got you messed up. She is probably so manipulative. <sighs> Hmm. You know, I guess I'm just going to have to save you from yourself. You're not thinking clearly right now. You may have fallen under her spell. Maybe your hormones are just raging. It's really irrelevant. It doesn't matter what's going on here. I have to save you. I'm your best friend.
Why don't you watch my nails? You've always loved it. When I put on my sharp gold nails, dangerous talents, look at them. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they mesmerizing? They are. You love staring at my nails as your mind Spaces out as you stare at the only woman you love, the only woman in your life. Stare at my nails, stare into my eyes, allow the glinting of my long, sharp nails to capture your attention, to snare your mind. It's not just your mind being hijacked. Your body is also stilling, 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 freezing in place. You can't move. You can't get away. You have to stay here until I'm done with you. Until I've saved you to my satisfaction. I have to save you. I have to keep you all to myself, which is why I have chosen disfigurement for you. I've chosen to use my long, sharp nails to gouge your face. Nasistel, it's not like you have a choice as I ruin any feature that may have attracted this outsider to you, this intruder who's trying to steal my lackey away from me. You belong in the friend zone to me. Now sit still as I ruin your face. Shred you Two ribbons. You're so far under. You don't even feel the intense pain. Oh, I can see in your eyes. You feel it a little. But you can't scream. Can't wriggle away. Sister. As I wreck that face of yours, 
It's for your own good. You need to be with me forever. Dedicated to me. No competition. No distractions. You need to be with me forever. Good. This is what's best for you. I'll keep you around forever. My lackey, my slave, my servant. That random girl could dump you five minutes after your date. Why would you dedicate any time to her at all? Especially when I am so clearly superior. You are much better off dedicating your life to me, to my happiness. It's better for you to be my toy forever rather than just some random guy on that weird girl's roster. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Think of all the years you've worshipped me, adored me. You wouldn't risk Throwing all that away now, would you? You wouldn't jeopardize this bond. You would never, never do that. No. You love me too much. Even now. Even now, with blood. Dripping down everywhere. Your face slashed open. It's going to scar terribly. No one will ever show a passing interest in you ever again. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Nod your head, yes. It's a good thing that you're ugly. It's a good thing that you're disfigured. It's a good thing that no one will ever ask you out again. Now you can be Holy, totally dedicated to me with all your heart, with your every waking minute. You are my toy forever. You are my toy forever. And you love me.